The Schema App Editor is one of several authoring tools we offer at Schema App. In addition to the editor, there's the Schema App Highlighter, and depending on your CMS, you might also have access to a plugin. If you haven't gone through the strategy training and the authoring training hosted on our website, we highly recommend doing so before you jump into marking up your content. The best use cases for the editor are one-of-a-kind pages, such as your homepage or your contact us page, and for pages where the content is fairly static, because if you update the content on the page, you may also have to update the markup as well. Now, if you need to optimize 10 or 100 or thousands of templated pages, or if the content is dynamic and you want it to update automatically, you should check out our Schema App Highlighter. And just a note to say that when you purchase a premium or enterprise subscription, any template marked up using the highlighter where there's less than 20 pages are included for free. Okay, so before we dig into the editor, let's review at a high level some of the features that are built into it. First of all, it includes the entire schema.org vocabulary and all extensions. So no matter what the content is on your web page, you can optimize it here. All schema markup properties are all organized with required and recommended and other according to Google's documented guidelines. Within the editor, we do real-time validations showing you errors and warnings as you're creating your schema markup. Since creating schema markup that's connected as part of our foundation, everything that you build in here, we're going to encourage you to create those connections between different data items. You have an opportunity to link between Wikipedia and Wikidata when you sort of go ahead and create data items, and I'll show you an example. It also allows you to very easily test your DSNLD, clone or copy it, or test it in the Google Structured Data Tool all in one click. In Schema App, it deploys on any platform and auto saves every few seconds. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is the homepage for the editor. On the left here, you can see the different schema.org types. The orange button, which will click to create, data items that you have that align under the class you've selected, and then information from schema.org about the class that you're on. Now you can search for the type of schema markup that you wanna do. Again, if you just type it in, it'll list the ones that align to it. In this case, we're going to create Martha's Cafe or Coffee Shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the class or select the class, and then I'm gonna click on Create. I'm going to name it. And then I'm gonna put the URL. So this is a fictional website, but we'll call it marthascafefancy.com. Um, and I'll go ahead and click on Create. Now what this is going to do is bring up a form that allows me then to guide me on, again, the required and recommended fields in order to match what Google is asking for for the local business feature. I'm going to start by adding the address. So fancy coffee shop address. It's looking for me to create something with a postal address. So I'll go ahead and enter a name and then click on convert data item. I've already given it a name. It's given a postal address hashtag to make it unique. Um, and it's of type postal address, which is required by schema.org. When I click on create, it's going to bring up the required and recommended fields. Again, I haven't had to click away from the sheet, so I can just go ahead and enter that here. Now for Canada, I could actually search Wiki um, and Wikipedia would go ahead and bring up different entrance for it. So here I could go ahead and select that and I'll use the Wikipedia definition for that entry. You can also just type in text since that's what's required. So I'll just add enter where my fancy coffee shop is located. Okay, and click on done. So what we've done there is actually created a connected data item so that all the postal address is now embedded uh, directly in the markup for Martha's Fancy Coffee Shop. Where there's a choice between um, you know, true or false or a drop down, you can go ahead and create th those within Schema App. Um, you can go ahead and add in URLs. Um, in this case, we'll just uh, put in a telephone number. And then the URL. The URL you can actually copy from up here 
and go ahead and paste in. All the warnings are sort of brought up to guide you in your schema markup, as well as guide you on what's required. Now we have all other fields in schema.org available. So again, if you wanted to use some advanced things such as like additional type where you want to bring up a Wikipedia entry to define the fancy coffee shop more, um, that is all available for you here. Now it's automatically saved um, and also all the code is created automatically. So here's all the JSON LD that we've just generated in just those first few seconds. So this is a good overview of the schema app editor and how you can use it to very quickly add schema markup uh, to any CMS for any type of content. We recommend that you check out some of our additional training resources. So if you go to our website of www.schemaapp.com, go to resources and training, you'll actually find additional editor training listed here.